little bit more Velcro on each side. We know that um, patients um, who suffer from, who are at risk of sudden cardiac death, um, usually have access to excellent cardiac imaging, and for that we use the Rolls Royce of imaging, which is cardiac MRI, that tells us everything we need to know about the heart muscle structure and function. But the missing bit of the jigsaw has always been the electrics of the heart. So up until now, there was no uh, convenient and easy way of integrating the electrics of the heart on top of all this amazing data that's coming out of the cardiac MRI scanner. And these here are the gold electrode clips which then connect to the device. As I mentioned before, we can then marry up oh, your electrical activity and the mm -hmm. functional activity of your heart. And what it basically consists of is a, a, f a vest which um, a patient can wear uh, for five minutes at rest or as during exercise um, and it's embedded with 256 um, sensors shall we say which don't have any gel so they're qu quite comfortable and easy to wear um, and it gives us a huge amount of electrical information mapping the heart not as a single signal but mapping the heart panoramically so we literally get three-dimensional um, maps of the heart and we can look at the electrics of the heart propagating all across the cardiac chambers and then when the patient goes in to have their MRI scan at the end of the scan we are able to map that data onto the MRI scan. I'll let you know when that's going in. Um, I'll turn your head a little bit higher in just a moment, okay? Two. Perfect. All right, table's going to move up. Then please feel free to, to move now, okay? Nearly there. Most of the catastrophic cardiac events that happen to patients and in also in, in, in the general public are usually driven by sudden dangerous heart rhythms, in other words, cardiac arrests, which sometimes uh, happen in people who have diseased hearts, but sometimes uh, it also catches us um, uh, unprepared. It happens in people who have seemingly normal hearts. Um, and this technology will allow us for the first time to collect very detailed electrical information of the heart um, and map them onto the structure and function um, in a way that is safe. It can be rolled out at scale um, on thousands of people at a fairly low cost compared to other competing technologies. would take them about three hours to sit up, mm. do an investigation, then another two hours of removing them, and then doing the MRI. It's, it's no feeling at all, really, I suppose. I mean, you obviously feel you're lying on something, so you've got that little, kind of little pricks, I suppose, on the back uh, you can feel, um, and then when it's pumped up, you can feel the pressure of that. But it's not uncomfortable at all. It's, uh, 
um, no more, I suppose, than sitting with a big jumpers on or something like that in, the sen in that sense. So there's, no <coughs> there's no discomfort with it at all. Yeah, so I was setting up a normal 12 lead ECG involves um, four leads on the limbs um, and six leads along the chest. Um, um, one of the issues with it is that we have um, the gel electrodes, so they can be quite uncomfortable for patients and they can also be skin irritants. Um, and also these gel electrodes, um, you know, they can only be used, used once, so they get thrown away afterwards. Uh, whereas on the ECGI vest that we've, um, that we've developed, they, we use dry electrodes, so we don't need to use the gel, so it's a lot more comfortable for patients. There's no skin irritation uh, or discomfort, uh, and also the potential for the vest to be sort of worn during uh, an exercise test, for example, as well, which would be a bit more difficult um, with the conventional ECGs. This recording, like we might have into, like, you're happy for this to be the recording for Yes, yes, of course. No, we don't have to repeat anything.